Live from the Colorado Convention Center in beautiful downtown Denver, we're here at the Innovative Dealer Summit. You're live. Oh, hi. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, here to the 2019 Innovative, Innovative Dealer, Dealer Summit, Summit at, at the beautiful, beautiful Colorado, Colorado Convention Center, Center in downtown Denver. Denver. I'm, I'm Ryan Girardi. Today is Tuesday, March 26th, 26, right, right out here in the, in the, the main, main hall of the of the convention center. The General Assembly is right there in front of us and we've got people coming in and out to general sessions. We just finished up lunch and we just had George Nenny from Generations Digital on. And now I'm uh, sitting beside Brian Benstock here. Great to see you, Brian. Great to be here, Ryan. Thank you. And Brian has the keynote to close out today's, uh, today's summit on Agile leadership. Now, to give a little background, if you don't know Brian, he is the Vice President and General Manager at Paragon Honda in Manhattan. Well, we're just outside of Manhattan, in Queens, New York. Queens, New York. If okay. you don't know Brian, you've been living under a rock. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know, that's what happens. I talked to someone recently that never heard a lot link, so you, you never know. You never know. Um, so, so thanks for joining us, Brian. Pleasure. Uh, maybe, maybe you could first start off with uh, telling us about you know your association with the Innovative Dealer Summit. Well, I, I've been coming to the summit to get ideas on innovation for a number of years, and uh, this year I was uh, blessed to be asked to uh, address the uh, keynote position today, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. And maybe you could speak to Agile Leadership a little bit. Yeah, Agile Leadership to me is about uh, really being able to balance the needs of today with the demands of tomorrow. Okay, so we have to make a profit today. If dealers are going to be concentrating on being disruptive and not concentrate on the day-to-day -day business, they're not going to make it. So how do you both keep one foot in the past, the core, the fundamentals of the automobile business, while you transition into a digital uh, retailing future that, that we know is coming? It's actually here. It might be fair to say that when we think of leadership, we think of leading the people, but there's also leading the business, the, yeah, view, sure, the of entity of the business in right. the future. Well, you know, you, you've got to ask, what's your vision? And, and what is the vision for you? What is the vision for your team? And if you're lucky and blessed enough to be in a position of leadership, then that's your obligation, really, to set the, the North Star. Where are you going to take your business? Where do you see the business going? And then, not only is the vision your, your mission, but you've also then got to empower, engage, energize the team and to tell them, hey, here's the vision, here's what's in it for you if we are successful at doing this, and to paint that clear so that everyone knows what their role is in that. And the third step, of course, would be the execution of your vision. That's the most difficult part of this. How do you execute on your vision uh, with the team? And, and to have a strategy, to have that strategy, to bake into that strategy failure, because failure is going to be part of anything you have to new, have and then team building as you break through the failure, and then the ability to grow. And once you make one of those loops, you, then you can set more audacious goals. It's kind of exciting. Yeah, and making that dream a reality. Something I've often said, that one of the greatest challenges I see facing dealers and leaders within, within at, at the dealer level is you have to, there's a short-term must. You have to focus on the immediate. We're in a month-to-month -month, uh, environment. But you, you can't sacrifice the long term because if you don't have that long term plan, you won't be around. Well, so, you know, and, and that's well said. I, I look at it a little different. Uh, are you a hunter or are you a farmer? And the, the reality is the deal, you've got to be both, right? The farmer plants the seeds in the soil and waits for the crop to come up. You've got to feed the family now. So you, you've got to also be a hunter and go out and get that meat, get that food today. And, and the seeds are not necessarily for an annual crop. You know, you're, we're talking about planting seeds way out in the future, right? Uh, trees, right? And, and the deal is to, to grow your trees, to nurture the tree. The tree grows, provides shade. If, you're, if the tree is taken care of, it also provides fruit that can feed you for many, many years. So, so it is that balance. That's where the agility comes in, is to understand the day-to-day -day economics of running a business, at the same time balancing that with the absolute need to provide for an ever-changing customer. You know, part of the message today is, is the, the game has changed. The players have changed. 
The customers have changed. We have to change. The, the game has changed. You've got flex drive, you've got fair, you've got clutch, you've got a bird, you've got line, all encroaching Carvana on, on transportation. The players have changed. We're used to going up against very successful businessmen, you know, uh, uh, dealers that we can name that are billionaires, that are super powerful. But we've never before uh, had the competition that we have today. We're not only up against successful business people, we're up against the richest people on the planet. When you think of a Jeff Bezos, uh, think of the competition. Warren Buffett is, a, is an automobile dealer, uh, you know, and, and he's got, you know, he owns insurance uh, companies, Geico. They have data. They know more about the customers than we're ever going to know. And that's a, a real key edge. And you look at a Elon Musk, you know, he's a wildly successful, completely erratic, maniacal genius in the business. And, maniacal, and, and genius. maniacal genius. He's, he's so crazy. He's not here, I, I, I suppose so. You know, and so we're, we're, this is a different creature that we're getting. So I'm a big fan of uh, Mr. Musk. I'm a big fan. But but to ignore him, uh, you ignore him at your own peril. What's the number one selling luxury car in the United States last year? It's a Tesla. They weren't even around a bunch of years ago. And, and now they're shifting all over again. So it, it's kind of exciting. And, and of course, uh, the, the customers have changed. The customers have changed. They want to do business on their terms wherever, however, and whenever they want to do business. They want to sit in bed and make a service appointment. Or they want to sit in bed and order a new car and have it delivered there the next day. And studies studies do show they, they still want that human connection. And a lot, I think a lot of people put out there that, you know, we don't need the human in, in the car buying process, but, I, but you know, the, then there's the opposite, which is it'll never leave. It's got to be. Well, yeah, I, I think it, it, it's important to have the human in the process. I don't know that it, you know, for some it has to be in it, for others it, it doesn't. I, I think it's our obligation to serve the customer on their terms. Um, Apple doesn't care if you go to the Apple store and buy your Apple products or if you buy it online. I think dealers, we need to transition to that. You know, that I, I don't care how you can consume transportation, so long as you consume transportation and you consume it from us. Mike, a minute ago it looked like you, had, you were going to ask something. <coughs> Pardon me. Do you remember I, yeah, what it was? Well, I was just saying I think it's interesting because it used to be very much a hunter versus gatherer mental mentality. It's not that that way. No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I think, it, I, I think it was people. People thought, well, you have to be a hunter. You got to be that or a uh, out there, or you have to be together, not both. Well, the, the, the problem with being a hunter was like a shark. You're always hunting, and the second you stop, you're in trouble. And I, and, and I, I like that attitude. But there's got to also be the long-term plan. What's the residual business? How are you building in your future business while you hunt and you have a residual? Because at some point, you get uh, too old to hunt, too tired to hunt. So you, you've got to have both, uh, the hunter and the gatherer mentality. Well, I think the analogy you gave was very eloquently said. So <coughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. So, so Brian Benstock, everybody, Paragon Honda. He'll be on at 4 o'clock, Agile Leadership, for the closing keynote today. Brian, thanks for sitting here and joining us. Brian, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So there you go, folks. Brian Benstock here at the 2019 Innovative Dealer Summit. If you haven't already, uh, get out your cell phone and text the keyword IDS19 to triple five triple eight. We'll send you a link to the Facebook page. We'll send you a link to the Facebook event that Mike and I set up here. Mike Phillips, you can't see, but he's right over there doing all his magic here on the production side. And uh, it's, it's been a fun day. We're a little more than halfway through. Got Sean Welsh coming up from Carbiz, done better. Thanks again. We'll see you.